Hello everybody and welcome back to the very start of our coming of age ceremony which of course involves some puzzling. <laughs> this is not anything. I'm just gonna eat myself into the abyss and hope for the best. I did say I would be eating myself into chasms. Chasms? I don't want to call them chasms, but I think it's actually chasm. <laughs> Maybe I just need to climb up and then throw myself at the goddess and be like, hey, I'm ready. Oh, they did the, the what is it, the um, intro thing did have it's kind of pointing at these like figures, these statues. Oh jeez! Oh, oh, oh boy! Oh my goodness! I almost messed that up. Do you want me to do something with you? No? Yes? <laughs> well, unless something jumps out at me, I am not gonna know. You know what I mean? Oh, a button. <laughs> Unless something jumps out at me. Oh, look. A button. Okay, this is gonna be my mask that we're forming, I guess. That makes sense, that makes sense. Okay. Just these two. These two. What was it? They were like the floaty bits. Okay. Unless there's any secret eels hidden around. chest over there. Uh, I think I'd have to get much higher to be able to reach it though. You know? I am curious if this is like the three, three uh, living life paths, but I don't think that's the case. I think there's more than three. She said you gotta get a bunch, and that must be part of the reason why it might take so long. Is like if you're gonna get if you're gonna get all the collectibles, which includes getting be able to get all the masks, and then you decide after you've gotten them all potentially at the final ceremony. But yeah, maybe collecting all of them. Oh no, do I need a? Mm, okay, so there's the not just the two halves of the mask. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, but the very top crown bit. But I didn't see. Is there another? There is another floaty bit. I thought there was only two. Maybe if I got up there, I could float over to the... To the chest. The gliding thing is almost kind of jarringly bright and like such a strange noise compared to like the, the shading style and colors chosen in the rest of the game. It's, inter it's just interesting. Um, I'm gonna hope this is the way. Oh my gosh, saying that out loud reminds Manny to watch The Mandalorian. I haven't even started the new season and I haven't finished what's out of The Last of Us either. I watched the third episode and cried my eyes out. I watched the first two, first three, obviously. <laughs> uh 
but I watched them with my mom, and now I'm like, I'm not at home, I'm not with my mom anymore, so it's like, it's not as, uh, scheduled. <laughs> but I have enjoyed it so far. Ooh, is that, I think, okay, I do, I feel like I remember anyway. That the mask and the promotional material again had, like, little horns. Little horns, little horns. Sweet. The masks are a little spooky, but I like it. Like, uh, I still like it. These, like, the collapsed remnants of, like, the watchers or the, the worshippers and the, what remains, their masks can still pop in from the magic with the technology or whatever, with the combination of the two. Who is it that says, like, any... Anything that seems outside the realm of man, outside the realm of science, is, seems like magic, but everything, most everything or whatever, can be, com I don't know, explained by science? If you don't understand it, it seems like magic. It's, I don't know. Technology so far outside our realm of imagining seems like magic. Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. The Abaxi Mask. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I thought this mask was really neat. Look at that! We look really, really cool. A mask worn by those in the sand sea, sand sea, that like slurred together, kind of like how you would kind of say it over time, made of bone. The ones in particular to the abexia are made of the skulls of a mountain goat. So I go out into the world as a representative of my clan, but also not. I am not. A clan child anymore. I am figuring out who I want to be, whether that be coming back to the clan or, or not. I mean, I could. I would assume you could go and visit. And that thing she brought up with the friend who doesn't really do much contact anymore. It's one of those things that I, I've kind of been struggling with lately. Is like realizing that certain. I've been feeling a bit frayed lately. Like, some of my relationships are fraying, despite my best efforts. But, in, but partially because I feel like I'm the only one putting in effort in some of them. And that gets tiring after a while. Did it get brighter? It feels like the game world just got, like, like the, what does he call it, the, um, not the brightness, but the, like, uh, colors. Have, like gotten denser? I don't know. I'm probably just making stuff up. But, um... I don't know what I was talking about, like, feeling frayed. <laughs> but where is... Oh, no. Let's actually do... Where's my little... Did they take it from me? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, either. Is it? It's right in front of me. I swear I left it up here. Yeah. Um. I know I was talking about how like just relationships change over time, and things fraying, but I'm actually not 100% sure in what context I was talking about that about. So that's fine. I swear I brought the thing up. Like, almost to here. It, and it's still... I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm not that far away. Oh, is that it over there? No, I think that's a plant. Anyway, I'm man. I I did have a I did have somewhere I was going with that, but probably for the best. I can't wax on about personal things. <laughs> oh yeah, the like girl who was supposed to send letters and who hasn't been. That's right. 
And that's like the fraying of relationships and like hoping to not be that. There are some like stories and people I've known where it's like, you know, they move on with their lives and then they just kind of like, they get married or something and they just leave behind like all their old friends and I never wanted that for myself. Um, and I have, I luckily, my two bestest friends in the world feel very similar just by them being married. They, uh, they also don't, they think, you know, you don't lose your old life just by becoming attached to somebody else, you know? But other things were like, you know, people move on with their lives, and I understand that, you know, people move forward, and sometimes things get left behind. Sometimes people, memories, whatever, get left behind, but I've always never wanted that for myself. I've always tried to keep close, co like, contacts and ties with the people I've chosen to reach out to and form bonds with, essentially, and so when those start to fade, and fray, you know, it's a little, it's saddening, you know, but just like how she was saying, I know, I hope I never become that person. Jaddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the, I was gonna say I don't think they're here anymore, and I just realized this is actually like not a natural formation. This is a statue. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There was a certain nuance lost in the transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice. Wow. <laughs> and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see the Utari. They are, they're the machinists at Burnt Oak Station, and among Cizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we return to the Euro, so keep an eye on the post boxes, and try not to forget us. takes a long breath and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. And off you go. Where is my glider? <laughs> Call out. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so cool. <gasps> okay, this is so cool. Oh, this is what I remember. Yeah, seeing the like trailing like ion particles essentially. This is super cool. And now I really can just go wherever I want. I don't know, this is simultaneously heart-wrenching. Like, this, that sort of scenarios where I'm, like, trying to not, you know, choke on my tears. But it's, uh, simultaneously, like, thinking about, you know, sending my youngest sisters off into the world and being like, you know, go, now's your time. And also remembering for me, you know, various situations in my life, but most especially, most recently, um, the, um, you know, me living nomadically, going off on my own, and, you know, you start your journey alone and you know where you begin, but you don't know where you'll end, you know? So, oh, this is so neat. I just want to make sure I've hit everything in here, too. 
but yeah, so it's very simultaneously like personal to like me personally, but personal also in like a sense of like having younger siblings that I'm watching grow up and sending them out into the world essentially, you know, little sisters that I've, you know, essentially like helped raise because I was so much older <laughs> than them. Did I? I went to that part. Yeah, I did. Okay. I think I have been to every bit. Oh, jeez. I wonder if I can I do like a barrel roll in the air? Holy cow. I guess I have been to every place here. And the statues are kind of the, uh... You see that butterfly? Oh my gosh. It's like the way out, essentially. Did I go up into those ruins, though? Oh wow, you really do go much faster on the glider. Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> There's an eel. <laughs> I'm not that invested in getting all of these, but there is something to do with them, apparently. Somebody's gonna want these somewhere on down the line. A part of me just really, I'm like, oh, I wanna, I wanna look, read codex entries about these little ruins, but yeah, I'm like torn on like the mystery of like, ooh, you know, like there's so much world I don't know about, and that's okay. But also, I'm like, but I want to know. <laughs> All right. I think we really have fully explored this canyon. What's that? Did I go there? I must have. Let's go. Let's get out. Let's. It's time. It's time to go into the wider world and explore all the places that we want to explore. Find our way in the world. Yee. Okay, I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, don't play sweet longing music. You're gonna make me cry as I cried like four times already. Just the two of us. Just a girl and her machine girl in her car off on an adventure I hate to interrupt this music because it's gorgeous, but I'm really hoping I don't get copyright strike. <laughs>
this looks like my old home, but I don't think it is. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Yeah, I really hope. I hope I don't get copyright strikes for that because that was a beautiful song. It really was like the perfect time, you know? Like the perfect time to hear such a thing. Let's see, there's something over there. I saw more as we were running around. But, like when we were coming in, but this looked like the tower from my village, where the mapper or the cartographer was, but alas, I should probably do something else to get, to trigger the cartographer to come. I'm looking at, trying to see if these signposts are going to tell me anything. I do like having a map of where I am. I do. I keep thinking I have to like control my where I, where I'm looking is going to control where I'm going, but that is not the case, and that's very nice because it lets me get like a full panoramic view of everything if I want. I thought I saw something over here, but I guess not. We can go for whatever. This was like a village again. Maybe somebody over there can help me with my journey. This is what I wanted for Mass Effect Andromeda. I really wanted to have a like a sand glider type thing or like some sort of like a, was it like the vehicles in destiny just like those little gliders I think they're super neat and they would be super cool and way easier than a uh, what do you call it like a wheeled thing okay that's definitely something okay I have to get off in order to do what See, I keep... Oh, weird. Oh, I'm whistling to my machine. To... St oh, see you? Yeah, see you. Come on, go on up. Nope, I don't think we can go up together. Well, for now, see you. I'll have to leave you behind. It looks like. like I could have ridden this thing. Oh, never mind. Maybe this is just a place to grab an eel. <laughs> they feel like fainting goats. <laughs> Where you like startle it and it just pops an egg out. Okay. Well, little machine. Let's take, let's go on over 
seem like there might be better access to that other island. Over here. I keep trying to jump in this, and I think that that's... Oh yeah, that's the stray thing, okay. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I feel like this might be a walking part. I guess I'll just leave her there. Stuck in the alley. I kind of want to go over to that, like, double structure, like the stone formation over there. Because a part of me thinks there's got to be something over there, but it could just be a cool looking rock. And what, there's all that over there. I'm pretty sure most of this takes place in like a desert mostly, but... Oh, you could rest here? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Doesn't appear that resting has any benefit besides letting you do cool panoramics, but... This was gonna be a town. Maybe it's not. That smoke is coming yeah, from there. Oh, this is something. Maybe. I just looted someone's stash. There's Lego. This kind of feels like a puzzle place and not like a habitation area. But somebody was here, there was a fire. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. The hand wraps and lightweight fit of this gear are great for making scaling mountainous heights more comfortable. It won't help me climb further. But it'll be more comfortable. So like, will it improve my ability to climb? Is what I want to know. <laughs> Cool. I'm glad I saw that. I hate missing out on gear. It's one thing if it's like, oh, money, I'm like, yicky. But gear. Love getting gear. But I feel like it's a little too soon for me to switch out of my outfit, but... So, let's just take a look. Like, I just got this. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not bad. It's not a bad fit. I do like this one, though. For now. I feel like I'm hearing things. Like, not just these... Not just these bird things. going, I feel like I might be <laughs> potentially missing a few things, but I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just kind of following each path that I see, you know? So they looks like they might make me a faster climber. A little bit. Oh. Oh. This is also now because of this little bit, I think, giving me some Nausicaa vibes. Which is actually probably my favorite Ghibli movie. It's either the Nausicaa or Castle in the Sky is my favorite. was way back at the beginning. I vaguely recall. Okay, I went in there. Yes! <gasps> cool! A standard uniform worn by machinists in Midden. Machinists will always make sure each set has their own unique modifications for their particular needs. Cool. Two outfits. Oh, I do love that fit. Oh. I'm gonna go back with that while I'm not climbing, but I really love that. Cool. So I'm finding the gear to help me figure out who I want to be. It's important before you head out. <laughs> To get the gear that you think you're gonna need for whatever situation you think you're gonna be in. So. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I should probably call this one here, but I appreciate you guys watching with me if you're still sticking around. I have no idea how this is going or if I've even uploaded it, but I am enjoying playing it. I was not expecting all the tears. I'm not. E I'm not joking. I did not think this was gonna be such an emotional gut punch. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be. 
Woohoo! Running around. But I do not mind it in the least. I really love it so far. So thank you all again for watching. Really quick, I want to thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Riscolito, my sapling tier patron, and Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who's the super bestest, and I super appreciate all your support. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.